Hi everybody, this is Matt. Let's talk about a different technique for dry fire practice. If you have a revolver handy, such as the one that I have here, use this to help develop trigger control. Why? Because the weight of this trigger is a lot heavier than what you're going to be experiencing on one of the new semi-autos out there like say a SIG, a Glock, you name it, what have you. Now, one thing that I want you to notice is I've got snap caps in here. Why? Because on an old revolver, especially this, this old Smith & Wesson, I don't want to break a firing pin when I'm practicing. So this is very simple. All you have to do is grip the handgun, and this can help and it would definitely help when it comes to your sight picture as well now to try to give you an idea of what this can look like here's the sight picture i'm holding it right up in front of the video camera so here we go let's give it a try And actually it's harder to hold it in front of the video camera than it is to actually do the practice. So the bottom line is, give it a try. What can it hurt? All it can do is make you better. And until next time, take it easy, be safe out there, and have a good one.